Hey, we're playing survival ball. It's a game where you, you try to survive. You're a ball. Spoilers. That's that's the. I think that's the premise. Here we go. So it has multiplayer. It has co-op. I don't really have a crew set up for this one. Let's go. So it has a jump. We got physics. Some of that marble blast and all that feel. That's the appeal, I'm sure. So for some reason you have a double jump. Okay. I've done it. And a dash. Forward and B is dash. Oh, you press it. Or do you press it? Oh, you charge it up and then it... Oh. If you charge it up for too long, it pops. If you do it correctly, you really go. Oh god. Double mid-air dash after double jump. It's like da da da. Whoa, and then I die. Everything's fine. Oh no, put me, put me back in the middle. The beginning, not the middle. Great job, me. I can use my elite late game strats to die. Okay, here we go. Boom. Jump, jump, and dash. Die. I'm, I'm fantastic at this. You guys thought I was bad at platformers when I was a person. Now I'm a ball. Just barely. Stomp. There we go. I stomped to unpress a button. That's a weird feel. Mid-air stomp for precise vertical landing. There we go. Because I need to land before I doom myself. Aha! Physics. Alright. I have not died. Whoa. That was one of those battle royale, like, death barriers. So just get started. Just go poop. Oh. 160 fuel. What is that? Oh. All right. 160 fuel is how much fuel we have for the rocket, I guess we're on. Can I not go right? Why can't I go right? There we go. I think the takeaway is you don't have any air control. You have to, you, you keep going in the direction you were already kind of going in. All right, so now I'm on... Oh. Fuel. What, do I knock it in the fuel hole? I probably do. So is that what this game is? Like a series of bizarre scenarios you try to so, like live your way through. Uh, no. I fell in the fuel hole. This, we're not we're not up to a good start here. So it looks like this one, the goal is to have this giant rocket keep going. Until like I hit some kind of score threshold or something. Which of course means I need to get fuel into the fuel hole. While also not killing myself in the process. There we go. Got it. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Aha! First try. Way better job. Oh, don't do that. Don't turn off the rocket. Turns out that's a bad idea. What do these do? Oh, that turns off the, that turns off the individual rockets. That seems dangerous to me. Oh. I don't know. Maybe call me crazy. It might not be a good plan. No, 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 no. What are those? <gasps> oh no, they're bad. They're wait, is that an is there an enemy ball? Oh, things got way worse. Oh no. I think I need to make them all fall off via physics. No, there's, okay, there's just a bunch of crap in my way now. Oh boy. Oh, I just knocked that right off. 
Oh boy. Uh, uh, is that a is that a grid? <laughs> what is that? Is it a is that a turret? I mean a, a bomb or a missile? That's what I, that's the word I'm trying to think of. Oh no, the fuel! I need that to. Oh god, this did not have a difficulty curve. Like they did, they did not like. Oh god. Uh, I just randomly fell off for no good reason. I'm just an idiot. That's not even one wave survived. I can't even play more levels till I survive that first wave. I guess all I really had to do though was just survive. I put all the f enough fuel in that it was probably going to keep going long enough for that little hexagon on the top right corner to fill up. Oh, but I need two to lie. Oh god, come back. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There you go. Aha. I, this is just a big whiff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I'd probably put enough fuel in already that it was gonna make it. Although I don't know, I don't know if I'll make it to two hexes. It might actually take some time to get through the first level. You just get off my ship. Oh. Oh. It's admittedly a little frustrating that it's so much build up to when stuff starts to actually start happening. And then I mess up immediately because I'm not lack of practice and all that. And then I have to wait for that to happen again. Oh. I'm just knocking it out of the park in this game. <laughs> I'm tempted to quit just because I knocked the first one off. But so far I have not been living long enough for it to really matter how much fuel I have. Can you imagine this with like two to four players or something though? All panicking and trying to figure out what to do. I wasn't sure what to expect. I kind of thought it would be platformer levels like those that old Marble game. Marble Blast Ultra, Marble Madness, something like that. Maybe both of those games were actually the right game. As examples. So this is this is immediately a, uh, an unexpected scenario. Uh oh, it's yep, it blew up. Just feeling it out. So yeah, they they're harmless when they're when they're orange, and they blow up once they're red. But that seems like it might just be more of a grace period where you're less likely to take damage and not so much a chance for you to... Like, I, I, was, I was thinking it's a time limit for you to knock it off. But I don't know how well you're going to be able to knock it off. They're, they're pyramids. So like you, you boost into them and they just fly straight in the air because they're like ramps in every direction. Not the easiest shape to push off the vehicle. Things got extra crazy when the game decided, you know what you need is enemy balls to attack you. Because that's a thing that they did. You can spin as much as you want in midair and it has no effect on your movement. There's no, there's no air control. It's 100% whatever your momentum was when you left the ground. Well, there's no air control besides the boost, obviously. So I think the appeal here is that if you turn these thrusters off, you can make bad things fall off of your ship, hopefully. Like that. But be careful. I almost died, but now I'm back. It's the Gobber Stopper. I'm being attacked by the Gobber Stopper. What? Oh. What happened? I guess we were going back down? We didn't run out of fuel already, did we? I assume we must have gotten too heavy. Oh no, it's having the two thrusters off just made it fall into the back into the lava. This is tough. Now we're playing Hexanome, Hexonomy, Hexanome. 
the year cast as good as mine. It's from the creators of Hexaturn, which I played in that one Hexagon episode where I was doing themes. And there was just a bunch of Hexagon games, so that was the thing. They made another game and sent a code in. Swipe or click? Click? Ah. So what's the mechanic this time? Collect all the squares. Click. Okay. Blockable cell. It was the idea that I can't... I can't go there. Okay. We're developing mechanics. AI always blocks your shortest path to the squares. I mean, they're currently blo blocking all of my path to the squares. Uh... Hmm. Are we pl am I, I I don't remember which one it was. It might have been one of the Hexagon games. I played a game where you had to put barriers in the way of some kind of spreading thing so that it couldn't reach its objective. And that might be what's happening here. That's what you have to do, is you have to get there in time for when there's two, so they can't block it in time. Yeah, I've, I've played this puzzle before, but I was the defender instead of the attacker. This is different. You could not stop me. That's an idea. There we go. I needed him to establish which side he was going to go on. So I needed to be in a range where I could get to either here or here, which then is in contact with two of the places they can block, which means they can't block both of them. That's the trap. So that's that's the core mechanic right now, is trying to figure out how to get past each wall where they, before they can block it off. What's that one? Eh? Okay, so you click on that thing and it's like a fast forward and that you get an extra move before they get a move. That's the delay. What am I worried about here? <clears throat> there, that's what it was. The color scheme makes it slightly harder than you would want it to be. It's like, I... I feel like they could have chosen a color for the blockable cells that makes them a little more obvious. Just because it's not as easy to visually like parse it as you might hope. You can collect all of them for no reason and then you can lose. How exciting. <laughs> what a time to be alive. And that's how I lose. And now I'll definitely lose. Huh. missing something or are they not able to block those guys off at all oh so that was the whole struggle is I was trying to get those but you, they, you could, they couldn't even block those ones so it was kind of pointless is that the idea
Hmm. So that's that that's functionally a button now. Okay, we're getting heavy on the icons. Um and also that one's a, oh, that's a square and that's a triangle because those are the buttons for those ones or something. If I step on this and then the fast forward, then I can, they can't get me. But can they, can they just lock me in? Or do they just choose not to? There we go. That's neat. And they just kind of like expand out there outward from there. How many uh, levels? It goes for a fair bit. Oh, that's not the level. <laughs> Levels minimum moved? Ooh. So on top of doing each individual level, there's also a goal for optimizing your solution. Alright, time for an odd name for a game. Jar Sam. Is there any audio? Oh, there's the audio. Oh yeah, those are the only settings too. I can't... can I leave? Go! Z zero? Oh, loud, loud, loud. There we go. Alright, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I think we're looking at a puzzle platformer. Okay, why is jump left and right stick is back and forth? Cool. Level done. Okay. Uh, pressing A went back to the main menu. Why? There we go. Hey, what do those do? Oh, the one you're currently selecting is slightly darker, but to such a minor amount that you can't see it. Like, look at it, re look at it really closely. Next level and menu, which themselves are hard to read, like the text. And you can see a slight flicker. The one that's slightly darker is the one I'm currently selecting. It's so hard to see. Did I even click on the right one? I did. Uh... I got red? Whoa. Oh, there's a mechanic here. So if you go over the container, I guess, of red liquid, and then you can't get red, then if you go over another red, you actually launch. Does this thing damage me or something, or what, what's its deal? Whoa! Huh. I think the leap was longer than the screen, so I had to guess that that was where I was supposed to go. There we go. Oh, oh that kills you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a problem for me. I don't, so you can't feather your jump. So tap, tap and jump, tap, holding jump. Yeah, it's always the same height, okay. That was the idea, you jump between the two and you get, and that lets you pick up a red. And you had to not have red already or I would have just bounced up in the air and died. I gotcha. There's all these confusing visual elements that don't seem to be part of the puzzle. And I inherently expect everything to kind of be part of the puzzle. But there's a bunch of weird elements like this that just kind of exist to be slightly confusing. Nope. Damn it. I get it. I get what to do. You gotta keep picking it up and take it to the previous one. You gotta just be very careful. I think I want that to continue. There we go. Uh, thread the needle. It's easy. There we go. Haha. -ha. No. Oh. It hits you. I was going straight up, so I thought I'd be safe. I was not. 
You gotta hang to the left a little bit. Or you're in... Uh... Uh, I can't make the jump from here. So I think I want to go back, get another red, and do the whole sequence again. Yeah, so the little, the little uh, puzzle platformer levels. Yeah. Wish I could see a little better, just because it's, it's a little zoomed in. Not a lot of the levels on the screen. Now I have blue, a new element. Okay. So having blue lets you go through blue. Which means you can't really get rid of it, can you? Unless you find, I guess if you find a gray one, you can you, you, you can let go of it. Yeah, that's actually not really relevant. I was just thinking about how you can't necessarily get rid of Yeah, there you go. This is a tutorial that sets up the exact thing I was trying to think about. Oh boy. This gets dangerous really quickly. There's various elements in, in the environment that I th keep thinking you're going to damage me that don't. Oh, no. This one's a little hard to get your head around. There we go. I guess the idea is I'd, I'd want to dump this. Because wherever I land, I need to be safe. Oh, crap. If I jump at all, I die. Right. That's a start, I suppose. Gotta be very, very careful with your inputs to do this little sequence. There we go. Got it. So now I've got two elements to play with. One for platforming and one for phasing through things. Oh, and that's where my goal is. So I need to... Uh... Oh, you can switch them with each other. Good to know. I keep thinking I have to jump over this because it looks like it's in the way. Hmm. Can I use this to get over there? There we go. Haha. -ha. There we go. Yeah, it's a happy little puzzle platformer. I lost track of which one I'm highlighting. <clears throat> that needs to be fixed, like, desperately. The fact that the menu just gets slightly darker on one of the options. I've never seen such an invisible menu selection system. Uh, so we need red to continue. I probably want to put blue up there. But I need red to actually continue through the level. And the fact that they gave me this much to work with makes me think that we you know we yeah that we specifically want to give yeah we want blue up there so we can transfer to the next area. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't get blue. Whoops. Thought I had it. There we go. And got it. All right, I think that's enough for now. So that was Jar Sam Hexanome and Survival Ball. Ball Survival? Which one? One or the other. Uh, thanks to the developers for sending the codes in so I could check out your games. And if you want to check out any of these games on Steam, there's a link to, the, to each of them in the description. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.